Microsoft has worked very hard over the last few years to make security as easy as it can possibly be in the corporate environment. One of the tools that's available is the Security Compliance Manager and a number of baseline setting tools that you can use to examine your systems and enforce consistent policies across your network. Let's take a look at some advanced security options using SCM and the Windows baselines. So those are big, scary titles for what's a really interesting idea. So if you're responsible for the security within your organization, and this is something that we're not going to ask the average user who's not technical to deal with. This is kind of an IT-related function. But Microsoft has issued a Windows 7 security baseline. So when you look at saying what is the proper way to secure a computer, there's a number of experts who will give you advice. You may be involved with an auditor or a consultant or a government agency that will say this is how we think computers should be configured securely. Well, the Windows 7 security baseline is the advice from Microsoft. The Solution Accelerator team has come out with these baselines, and they take a look at um, what is important and what they recommend. And it's been updated for Windows 7 Service Pack 1. It's shipped with and forms part of the Microsoft Security Compliance Manager. So we'll go ahead and we'll download this. And this will take a little bit of time, and we might pull the cooking show trick where we... Uh, we start a download or we start an installation and we come back when it's magically all finished. But we're going to go ahead and download the Security and Compliance Manager, then we're going to install it, and then we're going to install the baselines and take a look at some of those settings. So the download completes, Internet Explorer takes a look at the file, and then it's ready to go. So the Security, security Compliance Manager setup begins. We're going to move this out of the way. And it checks to see if we have all the required prerequisites. Now, here's the actual compliance manager setup. We'll go ahead and click Next, accept the license agreement, tell it where we want it installed. The compliance manager uses SQL Server, the Express version, or what used to be called MSDE. So we're going to go ahead and tell it that it can install that. It uses it to provide local data storage. It's downloaded the binaries. Now it's completing the installation of the SQL Server piece. So now the installation has completed, and we've actually let it go ahead and download updates and import the baselines. We can go ahead and we can run the Microsoft Security Compliance Manager. You wouldn't install this on every computer. But you'll notice there are a number of baselines available to us for servers and for clients. The one we're most interested in is in the category Windows 7 SP1. Now, the first piece is the guide. Here we have the Windows 7 SP1 Security Guide. This is something that you would want to read and understand where the settings are coming from, what the recommendations are. Then we have the actual baselines. Now, baselines are usually applied to entire groups of computers, such as across the entire domain. We can take a look at one or all of these, and we can, say, we can see how the computer security settings would normally be configured according to this recommendation. So then what we do is we can take this, we can take these settings and we can export them. We can take them out to a GPO, and then we can apply that GPO to our domain. Or we can take these settings and we can compare them to the computers, and we can say, this is the current setting, this is the desired setting, what's going on. So by using the Windows 7 Security Guide and the tools like the Microsoft Security Compliance Manager, you can take the computers within your organization and get them up to a very consistent, very common, very well-known, very well-supported security state in managing the security for the computers in your organization.